Greetings everyone, this is Dr. Satish. In this video, let me give a short introduction to Unit 8, Mechanical Principles. This is a level 4 unit in Pearson Higher National Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. <coughs> to say about this unit, you will be learning about how to use energy to propel, steer, also stop moving vehicles, for example automobiles, ships, aircrafts and more. So like all other level 4 and level 5 units, this unit is divided into 4 learning outcomes. The first learning outcome is based on static mechanical systems that is systems at rest. The second learning outcome dynamic mechanical systems, systems in motion. The third learning outcome power transmission, how power is transmitted from one system to the other. And finally, you will end this unit by studying about vibrations. When it comes to first learning outcome, static mechanical systems, you will be learning about shear force, bending moment, bending stress and how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for different combinations of beams and loads. That is very interesting. Now, in the second learning outcome, dynamic mechanical systems, you will be learning about like in class 12, you will be learning about Newton's equations of motions, linear acceleration, linear velocity, angular acceleration, angular velocity and their, uh, and, uh, their uh, relations between uh, linear acceleration, displacement and uh, linear velocity. So all those things. Also you learn about gyroscopic motion and the most interesting part is how to use, play, how to use acceleration diagram and velocity diagram that is very interesting you know to find the velocity and acceleration in planar mechanisms. Now so this is how uh, the first learning two learning outcomes will go when it comes to the third learning outcome you will be studying about how power is transmitted from one system to another. For example if you take an automobile we all know that uh, the energy is generated in the engine. But how the energy is transferred from the engine to the wheels is what we are going to learn in this learning outcome. You will be learning about simple compound gear systems, you will be learning about universal couplings and some other uh, simple uh, power transmission systems like screw jack and uh, I think uh, you will also learn about lead screws and some other energy storage systems like flywheels. When it comes to learning outcome 4 vibrations, you will study some terminologies used in vibrating systems, you will learn about simple harmonic motion, you will learn about free vibration and forced vibration, spring mass system and natural frequency of spring mass system and also damped frequency of damped vibrations. So that is how let us explore the unit together, thank you.